So when you are writing MDX queries, you need to specify on what date you want to see the information. Yes. All right. So this is our uh, Snowflake schema. This is another data source view. This is a different data source. View. We can't combine these two in a single one over here. Okay. We'll see whether is there any possibility uh, to combine these two in a cube level. Okay. Okay. By using two data source view, uh, is it possible to make in a single cube? Yeah. Okay. Just right click on the cube. I want to create a cube. Click on new cube database. Welcome to the cube wizard. Click next. So here, there are three options here. To design a cube database means uh, to take uh, the inputs to design a cube use existing tables okay whatever already you have in your data source view level do you want to take that as input yes you can take that is use existing or the next one is create an empty cube means Create an empty cube. An empty cube is useful when users wants to create everything manually or when all dimensions are linked dimensions. That means, so whatever, once you are taking this create an empty cube, nothing will add over here. Later, under the dimension tables, whatever the dimensions you want to add for this cube you have to add the first option if you are taking a prompt will come from which data source view you want to add so all the dimensions and facts you can add over here okay and uh, the generate tables in the data source as well so the sses business intelligence what it is doing it is giving a chance to you some sample templates like uh, if you are using adventure works enterprise edition what it will do in your data source level it will create a tables in your data source level as well oh. create tables in the underlying data source you must have permissions to create objects in the underlying data source some sample tables built-in tables already is there like uh, whatever you have in the adventure works database similar kind of tables dim product dim customer the structure it will create in your data source level this is this just helpful for you only for uh, practicing purpose mm -hmm. in real time it won't help for you so in the real time scenarios when you are going to design any cube database whatever the stuff already you have uh, created in your data source view level you can use that one. okay so that is the reason i want to use the existing table i will show you the second option as well what will uh, happen if you are taking empty cube? Okay. So it, as of now, you just take use existing tables. Click next. Which data source view you want to use? Sales DW or Adventure Box DW? You can select any of one only over here. Yeah. To input to the cube data. Let's say, for example, if I'm using a sales DW. And uh, here, these are the list of tables you have in your view level. You need to specify what tables are you want to treat as a measure tables. Which tables are measure tables over here? Fact tables. Right. So how can you say that it is a fact table and another one is a dimension table because of the naming conventions. Naming convention. Right. So if you don't have this naming convention, it is difficult to identify which table you can use as a dimension and which table you can use as a fact table. Yes. So if you don't know, you just ask the suggestion. Here there is a suggest button is there. If you're asking the suggestion, the business intelligence automatically will analyze the data in your data source level and it will tell you what tables you can treat a measure tables. No need to worry about this, uh, whether this table is having a, a dim, then you need to use only dim. You can use a single table as a dimension table, as a fact table. Okay, I'm going to ask suggestion. See, it is suggesting you to use this fact product sales table as 
measure table and product table also a measure table. The reason why it is selecting a product table also a measure table is because inside this product table, if you observe, there is some measure values, right? Mm -hmm. Product. Product actual cost. Actual cost and sales yes. cost. Mm -hmm. That is the reason it is suggesting you, you can use this table as a measure table also. Mm -hmm. Of course, once you are using this table as a measure table, I don't think like uh, uh, it won't come under the dimension table. You can treat this table as a dimension table as well a measure table. Okay, so here we are identifying what are the measure tables. Click next. Under these measure tables, what columns you want to take, you can select over here. Under this fact table, uh -huh. uh, on this deviation column and what are, what are the things you require you can use okay yeah or if you want uh, yeah i just want to take so sales total cost and quantity that's all under the dim product i want to take uh, a total number of products product sales cost and product actual cost okay this is the new derived column whatever we have created right derived yes. column okay just to keep it then click next so in this level what are the dimension tables you have to select what dimension tables you want to add to your cube mm -hmm. so whatever dimension tables you are going to select over here all those dimensions will come and add into your dimensions folder yes okay so if if you are using the second option whatever uh, uh, creating mtq in that situation you need to add dimensions one by one manually to this dimension folder okay okay right so these are all the dimensions and those are the facts you need to configure over here what dimensions or what facts click next so finally it is displaying the information these are the two measures and this is the dimension mm -hmm. Okay, right, clear. Then finish it. What is the cube name you want to provide? You just keep it here. Finish it. Okay, this is not a cube. This is just a data source view of mystery. Okay, where can you find out your cube? Okay, my cube name is sales dw dot cube, and you can see the measures. Dimensions. Okay, measures and dimensions. This is the your cube structure. What are the dimensions you have? Mm -hmm. What are the measures you have? And you can find the different tabs over here. Yes. We are going to discuss on each tab wise. Okay. And what are the dimensions we have added? All are coming under dimensions tab. And once the dimensions are coming over here, those will you can see over here as well. Okay. Yep. So this is the way we have created this cube. Right. What I want to do, I want to create another cube again new queue and uh, now i want to take empty cubes click next but now i want to take the adventure box dw as a data source click next what is the second option you have none none means select none if you will generate the data source view later or if you plan to use the cube with link dimensions only what is oh. this link mm -hmm. Okay, we'll select and see this option. I didn't try actually. Okay, finish it. There is an empty cube is created. Yeah. Nothing is there. So, what we can do over here? Um, see, there is a new linked object is coming. Click over here 
and use this wizard to link major groups and dimensions in another analysis services database or queue to mm-hmm. current database. Okay. Next. Uh, analysis services data sources, nothing is there. Data source, sales team, major groups. And... Right? Yeah. So this means from other queues, if you want to add anything over here, you can add. In what scenario do we actually go for this linked measure groups and linked dimensions? We don't, we don't, we don't go. I just want to explore you what options we have. Okay. Okay. You don't use this kind of scenario. Yeah. Okay. This is very bad scenario. In very rare cases, if you want, if you are designing like that, it is definitely a bad scenario. Mm-hmm. Okay. Remove this one. And I want to design a new queue. For adventure Five. works. Yes. Okay. Adventure works. The fact table you can suggest it. Here it is displaying only fact and sense because in the dim product we don't have sales cost on this. Okay. Next. Uh, okay. I will select all this card. Next, these are the dimensions. If you up to here, dim date and dim product under the dim product dim subcategory under the dim subcategory dim product category is coming this i don't want okay there is a child hierarchy is coming because of the snowflake scheme yes click now so this is your fact table it is showing only uh, one two dimension tables whatever the dim product category and dim product subcategory we got to build that relationship later. Yeah, it is coming under this dim product only. Finish because of the child hierarchy. Okay. So see here under dim product one, this is coming like a dim product one, dim date one because of the same names we have in the both cubes. Yes. Okay. I think it's better to change the naming conventions okay so see here this fact table having relationship with the date table on these three columns that is the reason it has created three date columns okay three date three yeah. date tables it has created based on the columns order okay. date due mm-hmm. date mm-hmm. the dim product under the dim product what you are getting product category product product subcategory okay so what is happening here it is treating like a one table only yeah whatever child tables product subcategory product category is coming it is including these two tables also inside this one Mm -hmm. i don't want like that so i want to design i want to make sure these three are separately so in that situation, what you can do? Okay, I want to roll back everything. Delete. And delete. And remove this queue. Right click. New queue. Click next. Create an empty queue. Next. I want to use adventure works. Click next. Okay. And finish it. Then now, right click. Uh, new dimension. Add a new dimension. What dimension you want to add? Uh, use existing table. Yeah. From this adventure works. From product. In product table. Yeah. Click and add. Don't select this. Thing. Okay. Click next. Click next finish okay and close it and whatever you have added that dimension you need to add again over here as well yes add cube add product okay then again 
What is the next dimension? Can you, you, can you expand the dim product one which you just added to the cube? Expand it. Uh, okay. Here, yeah, right? We have some. Yeah, we need to add the columns. We need to add the columns that I will. I will. No, list. no, no. We have taken only product key, I believe, right? Why did it add product subcategory key? Inside the product table, we have the product key. Oh, that's okay. Uh, there is a relationship between those two, right? Then now, new dimension, next, next, and adventure works. What is the table you want to add? Dim product subcategory. Okay. Click next, next. Sorry, I don't want to select that. Dim product. Mm -hmm. Finish it. We need to add that one over here yes. as cube dimensions. So this is the way if you want to add individually, you need to add like this. Okay. If I'm taking uh, by using the existing table the same relationship, then what will happen? It is grouping all R and under single. Dim product category. Click next, next finish it okay done and whatever the diamond uh, measures uh, new measure group what measure you want to add fact intermediate sales mm -hmm. right yeah yes come and what we need to add one more thing uh, where is the subcategory okay we didn't add subcategory add cube dimension in product category click OK and the next one what we need to add dim date right so right click new dimension uh, next next sales DW and the dim date table date key next click next finish it okay and, uh, you need to add the dim date as well done automatically it has created three tables 